And welcome back to the second part of our Delta Green story entitled Killer App. Uh, when we last left our agents, they had just discovered that Danny Latham, a, a young uh, computer programmer uh, who ha apparently had some uh, dealings with some what uh, Ms. Green was calling uh, hypergeometric keywords, uh, or some of us might refer to them as a, a magic spell, if you will, uh, that he had committed suicide just a few days earlier um, after being uh, after the agents were put on his case. Uh, so we cut back to uh, the agents inside the Latham home. Um, now, I'm going to assume that mm, at least that most of you are going to be sitting with uh, Anthony and, and Kathy talking to them. But if one of you, one or two of you wants to surreptitiously snoop around, you certainly can do that as well. So who, who is the, who's the talky force and who's the sneaky force? Snoop dog. So distract, snoop. distract, distract. Psychotherapy. That, does... would help with, that would help with grief. Yeah, um, so that's what I was thinking, and this, so I could analyze them. So, uh, in this game, uh, psychotherapy uh, is actually more of a like um, is, assistance is, for other people. Is is more like first aid for sanity loss. Mm, okay. okay. Um. But, I wish I could psychotherapy myself. <laughs> <laughs> it I literally argue says that they in, also lost sanity. Uh, it 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 literally says in the description you cannot use psychotherapy yeah. on. Yourself. I know. I was just. Thinking, I could yeah, use psychotherapy like, oh. on you, Jordan. Tell well, myself uh, about my mother. Well, look <laughs> Trip, how does that make you feel? Well, I don't know, Donna. I've been thinking well, about it for you, quite a while. Uh, Trip, do you have psychotherapy as a skill? I do. One. Well, go ahead and roll it. Well, I what, have seventy. Oh, you have that at seventy. Yep. Well, then, well, damn. I'm not going to. I'm not going to make it roll because you clearly have invested a, a lot in this skill, and mm -hmm. there are there are three things that you've been able to pick up from uh, the, the conversation so far. Because we're 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 going to be jumping ahead to like you know the the important parts here. But one, Anthony, his father blames himself for the suicide because he, he feels that he pushed Danny into the computer program and, you know, kept on pushing him and kept on pushing him and pushed him too far. Mm -hmm. um, his mother is still in a strange is, is still, you think she might still actually be in shock almost. Um, the impression that you get is that she was the one that found him. Ah. Um, he hung himself from the at the top of the stairs. Ah. Um, and like whenever, like uh, his dad has been like, I mean, you know, if you guys want to go up into his room and, and look around, you're certainly welcome to. You definitely get a a feeling of tension from his mother, like. How could you even consider going up there and doing that? Like, yeah, like, like it, 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 you get from her when he says that. It's like, it's like he's saying, yeah, just walk into the volcano. It'll be fine. Can I, uh, after seeing her react like that, because I kind of figured I'd be with Team Talkie, okay. um, I kind of want to put my hand on like her arm or her hand and be like, Kathy. Uh, Mrs. Latham, I know you are in an absolutely horrible place right now. No parent should ever have to bury their child. And you have to know it is neither of your fault. It's not. It's not your fault. And we will do our best to be as respectful as possible. Can I use your bathroom? <laughs> Uh, yes, it's it's uh, there. There's 
you go upstairs to the first door on the left, says Anthony. And again, uh, Trip, you see it like you get that that burst of tension coming from Kathy. From, from coming from Kathy. Like Huh. And, and like now that you look around, uh, you see that the the couch you think she maybe she was has been sleeping there the past couple of nights because like there's like pillows and and sheets kind of cast off to the side of it. So she hasn't even gone upstairs probably mm-hmm. since she found him hanging. So she just doesn't interesting is the i forgot is the bathroom upstairs or downstairs it is upstairs, upstairs. okay i go upstairs. <laughs> i actually I do follow tower to the bathroom I actually like it's normal you creep hey travel in packs just make boys, it seem natural boys gotta talk about stuff um, gotta play lightsabers yeah <laughs> oh boy okay uh, i actually do go to the bathroom i i okay. don't not like bath I, I don't like go to the bathroom i mean i go into the bathroom <laughs> and I, I want to check the medicine cabinet. Like I, had, I had a big breakfast, so you know, yeah. I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone here, not to be rude about it. But. Tower, uh, have we had side conversations where anytime um, in investigations anybody has to look at anything to do with medicine, you take pictures of what you see so that I can check on it later? <laughs> I think we can assume that. When, okay. I, I, when we all met, I assume that you explained, like, I am the physician of the group and i was like okay well then i'm running all that stuff by you i'm 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 assuming that you are competent enough that you have had that any sort of like this makes sense to me that this would be a conversation of i mean if you're gonna go to the bathroom you know check the medicine cabinet like Mm -hmm. just so we know you know yeah Um, just like if we run into anybody that has anything to do with any corp uh like federal level whatever we always remember who they are so we can ask mendel about it later (laughs) right while tony is going to the bathroom i would like to hunt down Uh his his room and just powder the shit out of it Mm -hmm. oh okay so you're going to because that won't be noticeable yeah, it's gonna be like that scene in Ace Ventura when nature calls where everything's just white. <laughs> um maybe. I okay. mean I yeah. Um your powder does not detect anything. Cool. Can I tell uh, if um Pops is like he's just acting completely normal, which is really abnormal. Um, um, that's pretty normal. It's pretty actually. normal. Yeah, like I it's mean, a it denial depends. and. What what is your you have a you have a massively high human yeah ninety yeah. He's not acting normal so much as he seems to be acting like a high functioning alcoholic right now. Uh huh. Because okay. you can tell that he is a little pickled. And he's holding it together, but occasionally he'll kind of drift off or or, or, or something word. or slur a word. Um, like not majorly, but enough that you're like, like enough that you go, oh, that's how he's coping with this. Um, Can so, we finagle a way to ask Tony and Kathy if he had been acting odd prior to the suicide, had they noticed him saying anything weird or had he been um, meeting with different people or. Yeah, you can, you can certainly, started... ask them. you can certainly ask him that. Go ahead. You cool. could also be honest again, being like, we noticed something weird in his videos, which we always stopped by to interview. Him. Mm-hmm. Tony and Kathy, um, I know this is very hard to talk about. And if you need to take a break, just let us know. Or if you'd rather us stop. Um, well, I honestly says, uh, says uh, Tony. That's what I'm hoping we, for. We haven't, we haven't really talked about this with anyone. So I, uh, I mean, this has been, this has been good for us, I guess. I mean, I like, I, I'm still a little, like, I don't entirely know what, phenomenon X has to do with my son. Like he wasn't into like 
satanic stuff like D D or anything like i don't know no, no, of course it's um really like some of what was going on in his videos is um is what we were digging into a little more deeply what was going on in his videos he would occasionally chant a certain phrase it seems it's, like a tick it you... seemed like he didn't know he was doing it well and it could have been nothing but that's why we're here right maybe it wasn't nothing so, so he was ca he was casting spells. No, no, Not nothing like that. Yes, I'm sorry. What? Uh Trip, Trip just freezes. Trip, did you just say 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 something? <laughs> did Trip just say something? Is that something that Trip just said? Did I don't you know. Are you, are, are you going to ask somebody? I, I you, thought look, you, heard it, you thought you heard it in your voice. I look at everybody. Did it, is that everybody looking at me? I don't think so. Like, it's now kind of awkwardly quiet. I look at everybody. It's just uh, like, Alice, very are, you, are you looking at Trip? Yes. Tango, are you looking at Trip? Yeah, she was the last one to speak. Mm -hmm. And the Lathams are both looking at you. Do they, are they looking at me like I just said something really weird? Is that what the way that they're looking at me right now? Well, it's hard to, like, it's, they're not like, they don't have their heads tipped like the RCA dog or anything, but. Did you, did you have a question? Um, um sorry, I. I, I was just, um, I was just gonna ask, um, if, if he'd been talking to anybody else recently, or, um, maybe talked about something from his, his school, or has he been really into, uh, studying anything that might have stuck in his head that could have caused it? Tony says, there's really nothing that that I would consider weird. I mean, and then Kathy puts her hand on Tony's leg and says, I think he might have had a boyfriend. Oh, were they close? Good. Is there any way you could put I, us in touch with him? Well, I only really like overheard him talking to him in his room. Um, I think his name is was was Jan. Like they were talking about maybe getting together in New York in in like a, a week or two, and and like I didn't, I didn't want to talk to him about it because you know he will come out when he's ready to come out. And Tony is like, I I didn't know any of this. Why didn't you tell me, honey? And and they kind of get into a little like, why didn't you tell me? Like, I, I'm okay with it. I, I I just didn't and 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 they start to, to to pick at each other a little bit. Meanwhile, upstairs, what do you do once you're uh done lighting up the bathroom tower? I think I end up joining um I assume tidings is in his bedroom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, I join him in there. Um give me an alertness check. I got an 80, which is, uh, let's see, my alertness is 62, so yeah, I failed. Okay, so that's a fail. Good to know. Um, I'm sure that's not important. Mark and... it off, so you can have that one more point later. Yep, yep. yep. Um, so, uh, computer gear is scattered everywhere. Um, like, there are, there are boxes there are, are wires and usb ports and you know i mean basically it, it, it's a very it's a very messy room but it's a lot of uh tech stuff um and uh while you uh what you do find though uh tower is underneath his bed there is a, a cardboard banker's box um, 
actually that wouldn't fit like in his, it's in his closet there's a cardboard banker's box and you pull it out and there are about a dozen phones uh inside of varying um uh of varying like ages and states of repair mm -hmm. and each of them has a um like a post-it note with a name and an email and then like a little note like um keeps rebooting or um uh screen turns off or um uh stuck on Pornhub or um uh, you know various notes Mm -hmm. um, and within and uh, underneath those phones, there's a there's a fairly fat envelope with about 500 bucks of ca uh, worth of cash in it. Um, there are also uh, a there's also a small waste paper basket under his desk, and mixed in with the like papers and stuff, there are three smashed phones. Uh, do either of you have forensics? We we never split this up properly. We never ever split this up properly. It just should always go with the group that's investigating stuff. Because oh, we probably should though, yeah. Jokes on I you have, all. I have zero. But I have <laughs> I like have really good psychotherapy, so that's why. Electrical I, and mechanical? I have electrical um at 20%. Uh, not, if that's at all helpful is that um craft electrician is what i got at 50 and then me craft mechanic at mm -hmm. 70 okay um not here but that but that will be useful in just a moment because um there's a mini fridge in the room too and there's something like you turn off the light and there's a glow coming out from the edges of the mini fridge. I don't like it. You, do, do you want to open that? Really, really um, old Chinese food. I would like to unplug the mini fridge and see if the light's still coming out. Yep. Then I would like to pick up the mini fridge and try to carry it outside. <laughs> what? Like down without, the stairs, without, out the front door? Yep, without opening it, without anything. Just the whole, what are you just gonna the... say? Hey, oh, he's not going to need this anymore, right? <laughs> Oh my god! I just, I just really like di uh, caffeine. -free I have no food, idea guys. what's in this thing, and I'm worried if I open it in an enclosed space, uh, you'll die. Yeah, I mean, his parents might kill you, so you okay. might still die. Give me a strength. Uh, uh, try to roll underneath your strength times five. <laughs> are you trying to be stealthy? <laughs> I wish I knew how this house was laid out, so I could be like, "Why are you planning to?" Like, Bug this right past in, the couch. <laughs> in theory, if you if he if he if he if he's lucky, he can get it down the stairs and around back to the back door without the, anybody seeing out of the. Um, Is he going to need me to get the, the door room. for him? I am well, trying to remember the last time he was lucky. <laughs> my strength Never. roll was a ninety-eight. So. Oh. <laughs> Great, 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 great. Did I bring, did I bring chloroform? Just as a general question, you know. I well, feel like I feel like after last mission, maybe my, Trip does have a little bit of. We are of, not chloroforming the grieving family. My hope they is that I pick better. up the fridge, take two steps, and then trip, and just it, everything spills out. I feel like that would be a crit fail. Yeah, no, it's one point away. I feel like a crit fail would have would have been like it falls down the stairs and then whatever's inside <laughs> you know slides in front of everybody. Um, instead, um, you pick it up. Well, let me ask you this: I'll, I'll let you. I will let you pick your poison here, Ethan. 
Remember that I'm there with you. <laughs> do you want to make noise? Or do you want the, the thing inside to touch you? But, yeah. there, but you don't make any noise. Let's go with the touching. <laughs> of course you picked that. Of course you picked that. I was I mean if we bet it I would have won a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Let, Shock. Let's Shock. Ju- ju- <laughs> just just because I'm curious it would uh let's go around would you have picked the, the noisy drop or the touching? Tawny? I would have picked the noisy drop because I could talk my way out of it. Uh Jordan? I would have touched it. <laughs> Sarah. Touch, 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 touch me. <laughs> Tony. I would have made the noise and then just hid in the bathroom. <laughs> I am seeing right. a correlation so, between so it- <laughs> those who didn't <laughs> choose the hmm, interesting random fun betrayal? magic object. What other, what other uh, trait do they all have that, that binds them? I wonder. I wonder. Anyway. <gasps> Okay. One ring to rule so, them all. One ring to find them. You you pick up the uh, the 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 mini fridge, and you know it's a mini. It's it's heavy. It's awkward. So you're like, and, and I think you maybe even turn to like Tower, like, hey, help! And he's like, Mm-mm, I don't. Know. <laughs> because I didn't agree to this. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Something drifts out of the top of it. Oh. It's it's a glowy little thing that's like about the size of a fingernail it's r- round no it it's square no it it's like a pyramid and as you're you, you like it, it, you're looking at it as it just sort of sh- sh- disappears into your head. <laughs> Touched your brain. <laughs> this doesn't sound like it's fixing to be good. Tony, uh, I want um, both Tony and Ethan to give me sanity checks here. Oh, so I just I just watched this thing float into his brain? <laughs> yeah, well, I think both of you were a little like, what the heck? Oh. And then it, like, I, I, I think at the last second, it basically accelerated and just went shoot. I got a 43 under my 70. Okay. I got a 78 above my 53. <laughs> okay. For some reason, Tango downstairs is considering asking for a lighter. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? Teaspoon that- reaches over and puts her hand on Tango's shoulder with a look. <laughs> Do we just like pat Tango down for arsonist equipment <laughs> before we go everywhere now? <laughs> I every, wouldn't take it away from her, but I just kind of feel better every, knowing if she has Every it. time they go into a house, Tango is like, I'm going to go make some tea. And everyone else is like, no. no, no. no. <laughs> oh, you have a gas stove. How nice. Yeah. <laughs> Tango has Doritos and Ellis is like, that could be used as Tinder. Get it away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Some Doritos t- burn green. <laughs> uh, tidings? That's what floated into Ethan's brain. You're going to take six <laughs> points of sanity damage. Ooh, Ooh. damn. They were even. Now remember, uh, you can, if nice you wish, drop with the math. Burn, um, burn some bonds here to uh, absorb that because otherwise your uh, DID is going to flare up here. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Oh totally right. I also forgot about that. He's going to th- he's going to think that that was a that was a that was a infinity gem and he's he's vision. <laughs> Aw, vision. <sighs> um, what's your what's your choice here, Ethan? I think I think I'm going to have to take the sanity because I don't none of these bonds make sense in my head to get rid of they don't have to we can always post justify it it because it's not it you don't when you when you use a bond you don't have to say oh this makes sense to me why I would it's it, it's more of a of a later narrative setup of okay while you were away 
your relationship deteriorated with this person. Like if you if you want to just take it, I'm okay with that. But I'm just saying. But uh, the other thing to be aware of is, in addition to bonds being able to uh, soak up sanity loss, they are also they also can be used to stop. Uh, your any mental disorders from triggering. So really, we're kind of asking you here for if you like, you can use it up to two times. One to stop the um, the projecting. I think. Let me make sure here. One second. Yeah, so you can project onto a bond to absorb the sanity, or you can um, repress your DID from, from coming out by also damaging a bond. Then let's repress and hurt my bond with teaspoon. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so um, uh, roll a D4 for me. Delicious. Is it because you betrayed me? Delicious. Oh my god. I rolled a three. So that is uh, a so you're going to lose three willpower points. Don't wither anybody. <laughs> um, also give me another sanity roll. Do I lose the sanity from earlier? Uh, yes, unless you are using your bond to soften that blow, too. Okay. I failed no matter what in that roll. Okay. So much failure. Does, mm. does Tower know about his DID? Or is that strictly, like, between him? I would assume none of us know about it. Yeah, it, it's fairly new, I don't so... Okay. Were you having an episode when we were having our meeting? Tidings? Was he? No. Okay. <clears throat> I'm asking that more for you to know that instead of me knowing that because I wouldn't know that, but <laughs> I so, just didn't think about it. So DID here is are, are we talking a manifestation of a different personality or are we doing are we talking more of a like I was not in control of my own actions and I just sort of was a passenger in my own body kind of thing. I was thinking in the moment, yeah, kind of a different personality. Okay. Is that something that you want me to drive with? Or is that yes. something that, okay. Okay. Just handed Rob a loaded gun. Oh, um, very unwise. <laughs> it's not like we don't have somebody else in the party that just goes into fugue states and doesn't know what she does. Mm -hmm. What unwise? I don't. Unwise. I, I have no idea who you're talking about, Sarah. You gave that Rob just a loaded sound. gun, <laughs> and with somebody who's already been shot by Rob. <sighs> well, now has now Rob has to hold one in each hand. You know, he doesn't have any spare hands with which to hurt us. So. Uh, Tidings turns to you, Tower, and says, did you just see that? I did. We need to get me out of here while that, while this is still inside of me. I'm barely holding it in. Uh, okay, we'll just make up that you're really ill. Um, let's head down the stairs. Like, we, you were throwing up okay. in the bathroom and okay. let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Meanwhile... Um, uh, downstairs, um, the, uh, or the, the, the conversation was still like, they, 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 they stopped bickering and, um, Kathy says, look, he, he gave me his address. Like I, I knew he was going to meet this guy. It was all above board. Like this isn't any, some kind of weird 
grooming thing like he says it was something about computer stuff but i mean that's what i would tell my i mean that's what i would have told my parents if i met somebody weird off the internet you met me off the internet well there you go and um, could we get that address yes ap- uh, yeah um uh said. tower and tidings come stumbling down the stairs i uh turn to them and i say i'm sorry he's just very very ill um uh well, i you know I, what it I, might have been that restaurant we I, stopped at i, I turn to up. i turn to to jordan and i i like can, can you can you join us outside quick? yeah i'll be right there i pat a teaspoon on the shoulder and i say could you just finish up here i'm so sorry to leave you so suddenly of course, of to course. Yeah. kathy and i okay. rush after them um okay the three of you come come scooting out uh let's stay inside Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I think I can speak for the pair of us. We would love to go and, and visit and, you know, just check in and make sure, you know, if there is anything awry with, with what's been going on to make sure that that Danny's friend is is well. Okay, yeah. Um, he, uh, here, I'll... And she, she writes down the address and, and gives it to you. And I guess... I guess don't... Uh, mention what happened yet like of course we'll, we'll we'll let you do like, that I, I appreciate that thank you and we cut to the three of them outside what happened what happened i start immediately checking him over and seeing uh, if he's okay and yeah i explained uh there was a glowing something in a fridge it was small. It looked like it was morphing into different shapes. And before either of us knew it, it had floated into his skull. I don't understand what happened. But... My hands immediately pop off of tidings and I take a step back. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> he urged me to get him out. So I don't know what's going on in his head right now. Um, you could tell them tidings because for the past... You don't know how long. You have just seen a psychedelic light show and it was amazing. It was beautiful and you don't understand why you had to leave because you, you like you come back and it's like all the bad smells of the city hit you at once. All the urine and all the dog shit <sighs> and all the gar- the garbage and piles. And you're now on outside sitting on the porch and Trip and Tower are arguing over you. <laughs> I'm just going to start crying. Oh, um, uh, I pat him you go are you back tidings yeah i'm back does anyone know if there's any more in the fridge teaspoon and, and tango come walking out wait you want more or do you just want to make sure that there isn't more that was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It's the I kind crouch. of thing where it makes you realize how shitty the world is. What? Let's unpack that a little bit. I, crouch- I do. Yeah, I crouch down and look tidings in the face and I say do you hear it? I, or was it just something that you experienced? And can I try to get a read on him? Like what? What's going on? What using what? You meant. <laughs> what are you trying to get a read of here? Is he back to being himself? Is he having like a manic break? Um... You, I mean. 
it's hard my to thought say, is like if like, i can if he's having some kind of panic attack or something like that i can tell trip and she can do some no at, at first aid. like maybe he had some sort of weird hallucinogenic episode but like he seems fine now <clears throat> okay like he's crying and very upset but he's not like there's nothing extra odd about that. Did you hear the words tiding? <laughs> Did you just Did say we that? We all hear you? that. Oh no. I immediately as soon as I started hearing it put my hand over my mouth where was were my lips moving? What's your alertness? Uh, 45. <laughs> Give me an alertness check. No. So <laughs> evil. I love it. <laughs> oh my God. 47. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> you put your hand over your mouth just a little too late. The whole, the whole phrase, you heard the whole phrase come out, and when you put your hand on your mouth, it wasn't moving. My you lips weren't do that. moving? But, uh, but the whole phrase, you heard the whole phrase first, so it's very it's very possible that you said it and didn't, and didn't catch it in time. My hands are shaking as I look at everybody. Are they looking at me differently? Are they? I stand up and I take a couple steps away with my hands now, still over well, my now mouth. Every, now, every, now I think everybody is looking at you a little weird because you're backing up with your with your hand over your face. Trip, do you know something about what's wrong with tidings? Trip, what's, what's wrong? going on? Nothing. Just just thinking. Just just thinking about what? Uh, what that could have been. Or you're kind of keeping us all in the dark here, Trip. Um, maybe um, I saw something earlier when I was trying to Google the phrases. I wasn't Googling it all at once in case that, you know, started a internet apocalypse. But I, I saw something about a Dutch mathematician from the 20s. Um couldn't find too much more about him when I was searching. Um, but it didn't sound like there was any hallucinogens related to him. We might want to get tidings a shock blanket and maybe just something to distract him. Uh, Dr. Mandel, go ahead and get roll your human for me, please. <laughs> I knew it. Um, Donna, why don't you go ahead and roll your charisma times five for me, please? Mm -hmm. I got myself a 57 on my 90. Okay. I'll use these dice. Purple dice are where it's at today. Purple sparkly dice. Louise would be happy to hear that. My charisma times five is 70. Mm -hmm. So I... <laughs> um, a 72 I rolled a 77 80. ooh harsh you Trip is definitely not like she is definitely hot, holding something back as she's talking but you also feel okay. like confronting her about it right here in front of everybody is not going to get it out why don't we do this, y'all? Let's all let's roll back into the SUV, and we're gonna go get a hotel room. We're gonna chill out a little bit, unpack what's all going on, and come up with some plans. Does that all is that is that copacetic with everyone? Sure. My hand I is still. I think we should yeah. look in the mini fridge to make sure there's not more. And or I'm what thinking. We should leave the mini fridge upstairs where it is. 
So I know I don't have any skills in this, but I feel like Tidings, after experiencing the most beautiful thing in his life, is going to fall into a deep depression. <laughs> I... I'm going to shuffle tidings into my car, into the car, and get him some like granola bars for my bag and start making him eat them and try to distract him with different sensations from what he experienced. After they walk away, I grab Tango and Tower, and I'm just like, <sighs> neither of them is okay right now. I think we need to do a little bit of, um, just like letting some things lie where they are and um tower did you i mean did there appear to be more of whatever that was in this fridge or uh unfortunately i didn't look in the fridge but what i do know is that tidings tried unplugging the fridge and it there was still a glow coming from it when it went into his brain so best way to tell would just to see if the fridge is still glowing great 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 we could just great. ask the lethems if we could take the fridge i feel like they're gonna think that's pretty odd well can we take pretty... your dead son's mini fridge <laughs> well obviously we're not gonna say it just like that well sure you but how do you dorm. how do you justify that he could have been working on a project and the components need to be refrigerated. This could help us solve what's going on. <sighs> okay. All right. Okay. I'll, I'll, yep. I'll try it. Um, or we can burn the house down. I mean, it's really We're not just... burning down the house, Tango. Fine. I knocked <laughs> on the, Wait, hey, hey. Classic Delta Green. <laughs> uh, I knock on the door. Are you going? Again. So I, I will tell you, uh, what's your persuade uh, teaspoon? 60. I will say if you go by yourself and basically say, like, I just need to check on this one thing really quick. You're going to get I, uh, you're going to get a plus 20 bonus to your roll. But if you want, like, everyone else to come with you. I'm not going back in that house. <laughs> no, I'm not letting Trip or Tidings go back in the house for sure. Um, my main concern is that if there is actually something still in the fridge and it brain scrambles me and there's no one there. Is uh, Mandel going back in for the fridge? Yes, or yes she for? is. Okay, are you rolling solo or are you taking people with you? I'm going to roll solo. So add 20 to the roll. <clears throat> or subtract 20 to the roll. Yeah, I rolled a 57. Um, and my persuade is a 60, so I didn't need to be alone. That's <laughs> okay. It. You don't have to think of it like that. Um, you need you needed something from his room? Mm -hmm. uh, says uh oh i thought that was rob <clears throat> i know yes um actually we just realized there was there was something on his computer that would be really really helpful um for our story so um okay. yeah i would really um, appreciate it if you want to go upstairs and get it and then like and as you walk up you even see uh, you see kathy like approach the bottom step and then she just sort of death grips the banister um and you make Can I comfort up. her a little bit? Just well, little you're already up. You're already up the, okay, right, the, okay. the steps. I'll so do it on my way out if I'm not dead. Yeah. <sighs> um. You go into his room. Uh huh. And the fridge is there, like kind of. It's it's like moved away from the the wall. And that's it. It's unplugged. There's no, there's no light. That's good. I'm good with that. There's no light. <clears throat> if I, okay. For one, I'd like to put the fridge back where it appeared to have been in the first place. Skirt, skirt. Yeah, that's fine. Dude, was there anything moving on the inside when I touched the fridge? You heard like a, like a, like something rattling around inside of there. Okay. 
I open the fridge. And you, you're attacked by nothing. <laughs> it was a mimic. <laughs> For some reason Napoleon jumps out at you. <laughs> but there is a smartphone inside. I would like to, I'm assuming I'm wearing like a sweater or a jacket mm -hmm. or something, um, use that to pick up the device. And just like put it in your pocket? Or like right I mean, yeah, like I like don't right want to physically touch it with my hands. Are yeah. you are you taking off your sweater to basically wrap it or are you yes. like, okay. Yes. But you're holding, so you're holding it right next to your body. I mean, no, I mean, I'm I mean, like. You are though. Yeah, are I'm you not, doing it? Though I because that's I'm gonna like, look really weird like, if she's no, no. like, like when you're holding a jacket in your hand and I've got it between the like this. <laughs> Sorry, okay? Mike. Like your my jacket stinks really bad. Carrying the jacket. <laughs> I crap myself. I'm not myself, like walking okay. out like this. I'm just holding the. Okay. I'm holding it. Okay. Away from your body. Because that's no, normal. No, I'm not like walking out like this. I'm just okay, so you're holding it, it like you carrying a jacket. Is right, awesome. I'm, you guys? I'm, we, I'm, I'm, I'm done messing with Tawny. Another, uh, I the, will the, never the thing, be done. The thing is not the the thing has has been spent in in the uh, right now, so it's not going to get her too. Okay, okay. Uh, um, mostly because I also want to keep the plot moving forward. Whew. Um, but we cut back. So, are you looking at this thing in the hotel then? When you get to the hotel, or, or is it yeah, just you, or are you, get... or is it was are you having everybody in the room with you? Because um, I will say, who has the highest like tech skill? That's probably going to be a computer science skill to be able to unlock this phone without. I'm a forty. I got, I got nothing. So it's me. It's, so it's I'm. You. It's me. Okay. Um, I will. I um, okay. I would say I'm letting Trip and Tidings like chillax, but then Tango and Tower and I are probably okay clumping to thank figure out for, what's up with this thing. Thank you for volunteering us. You're welcome. Um, just remember to speed dial me in case you're about to die so I can save your life. Just you're in the, the next hell. room over. Chill out. Are we chillaxing together? Are we sharing notes? I want to talk to tidings. <laughs> All right. Let's 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 do that scene. Um, okay. <laughs> for a moment. It seemed hinty. <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, uh, the phone, we cut to Mandel unlocking the phone. Um, there are three things that you discover after a, a cursory search. Um, one, well, actually, let's see here. Um, what is your alertness? 23. Okay. <laughs> uh, go ahead and give me an alertness roll here. <laughs> That's an 86. Okay. The unusual thing that you find about the phone is that it is running a side-loaded app called Unnatural Beacons with a Z. Do you activate it? Uh, yes. It fills the screen and soon you are watching like it's like a weird screensaver. Like it's 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 shapes folding into each other, like They're, the old Microsoft screensaver. A little bit, yeah. Like um, in particular, <laughs> though. Um, let's see here. What skill? Yeah, everyone is. <laughs> um, there's kind of slightly cheesy, like meditative sort of trancey music playing. And clearly it's meant to be something that you like turn on and like helps you focus or meditate or something like that. Like it's not flying toasters or anything like that. It, it's more of like um, if you Google 
what a fractal looks like, that's okay. what you see. Um, I mean, maybe maybe Brad can put one on the screen during this part. Um, but after a few minutes, something crystallizes. And it's a small shape. I close the app. Okay. I get the feeling something glowy and shape changey was fixing to pop out of the phone and brain my brain. And I'm not, I'm. Mm -mm. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> You're not in the room. <laughs> <clears throat> Meanwhile. Uh, did Tower and Tango see this? No, because they you, you did I'm you were it, it didn't actually pop out of the phone, so you were just looking at a phone screen. Okay. I explain Me what happened, but Meanwhile, trip and tidings. What are you having your meeting now? Wilson. Yes. Rep. Have you been hearing it? No, I don't know what it is, but I assume not. The magic phrase, the the phrase that that the kid that Danny kept saying in the videos. Wasn't his boyfriend's name something similar to the first word in that? Yon. I think his mom said Yon, but it. The first word is Yos. Yos. I'm glad you can fly. Were my lips moving that time? Were they moving? Were they moving, Rob? I <laughs> love <laughs> the tidings. They were. Trip, you definitely said it this time. Yeah, that phrase. And so did Tidings. He said it with me. And that is where we take our second. Robert Wheeland. And uh, that is where we will see you next time for the thrilling conclusion to Delta Green Killer App. We'll see you then, everyone. Robert Wheeland. This is awful. Congratulations, fellow human. You've reached the end of an exciting episode of Theater of the Mind Players. If you enjoyed our story, please like the video. If you want more games, subscribe to our channel. Attack the bell for notifications on new posts. If you liked the episode, please tell us what you enjoyed the most in the comments. If you loved the episode, consider joining our Patreon. You'll get access to special shows, session zeros, and help us determine what we play on the show. We love our friends of Pat Rayon, and we hope to see you there.